club, to quote George Carlin, and you ain't in it because the world's owners want you dumb. That's why education will never get better. It'll get worse because it's designed to dumb you down because the country's owners want you stupid. Thank you, George Carlin. Rest in peace. 9-11 truther. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, 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 he says this is going to protect the free and open Internet. He's been promoting stuff that would end freedom of the web as we know it. CISPA, SOPA, the UN treaties. Let's, let's play that clip just so I, I'm not just claiming he said we'd be better off without Internet. Here it is. Uh, President Obama is director of national intelligence. Admiral Blair, who I greatly respect, have labeled cybersecurity perpetrated through the Internet as the number one national hazard of attack on the homeland in West Virginia, uh, on, in West Virginia Launch and your own anywhere else. So, I mean, it really, it really almost makes you ask the question, would it have been better if we'd never invented the Internet and had to use paper and pencil or whatever? And that's a stupid thing to say, but it's, it has genuine consequence. Right, get him because off. it's on the internet that these acts of... Okay, so there you go. All these acts are so bad, let us run everything. It turns out most of the time it's the globalists doing it all. So that's what's going on. Now, now, now listen, here's the key part of the articles. Here's why I don't cover articles a lot. I got 300 on my desk. This is one. To decipher this crud. Now let's go to the next one. But former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, I cannot believe I'm agreeing with Newt Gingrich, Republican Georgia tweeted, what is the global internet community that Obama wants to turn the internet over to? The risk of foreign dictatorships defining the internet. This risk foreign dictatorships defining the internet. Well, no, Nudie. It's not that we're going to have, you know, Zimbabwe or whatever voting on the thing. It's the private stakeholders that already under the treaties will control it through the World Trade Organization and others and fast track. That's the issue here. And... We know because it got leaked by hackers and they confirmed it's real. Only one of the 30 pieces dealing with the Trans-Pacific Partnership. We know what's in it and it makes CISPA and SOPA look tame. It, it's a pay-for-play internet with about 3,000 big sites and universities and government and corporations. And then you've got to have a subdomain with them. And then they just phase out the old internet. It's like, it's like turning a road into a toll road and then not letting you have access to it. And here it is out of uh, the New American... Uh, Joe Wolverton, excellent article. SOPA, dead in Congress, alive in Trans-Pacific Partnership. And this thing, they call it Trans-Pacific. It's for the whole world, folks. It comes in with the governance over the Internet. And that's just one piece of 30 parts that I wish the hackers would release the whole thing. But see, Google has access to this, and we know they're probably the hackers. There's some fights in the New World Order and some people that uh, don't want this to go through right now. They want the web to be free a little bit longer while they dominate it. And so they, they want it known what's going on so it can be shot down. So it's, the separation of powers is one of the main things that's still keeping us afloat. Now, now I mentioned some of this earlier, but this ties into it. Ex-Bush administration official, Internet giveaway weakens cybersecurity opens door to web tax. Well, yeah, I mean, the web tax is being proposed across the board by the U.N. that's getting it. And again, the U.N.'s the name on the door. It's these private boards. Just like Codex Alimentarius is a bunch of big pharma people shutting down vitamins and minerals and nutrients worldwide. The U.S. is one of the few countries they haven't restricted it. Here's another one. Just showing where we're going. Google wants email scanning information blocked. Bloomberg, they don't want you knowing they're spying on everything you write. See, they all do it. Here's one. The future of brain implants. How soon can we expect to see brain implants for perfect memory, enhanced vision, hyper normal focus, or an expert golf swing? See, they're rolling out brain chips like it's going to be so cool. Only the coolest people get them. There'd be unintended consequences and problems if a malevolent, excuse me, I had a Freudian slip, benevolent, loving you know, angel was running it. But this angel's not very loving that runs this. I will assure you. And here's the next article. See, they're just rolling it out everywhere. 
I used to tell you the plan was for DARPA to have everybody with a brain chip by 2025. That's official DARPA policy, declassified in 1991, reclassified soon after. I'm a kook. I think they're going to put brain chips in you, but they're promoting brain chips. Now, when we come back, cars could soon monitor our emotions. Devices reads facial expressions. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriate e-liquid by LeSig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. LeSig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LeSig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. LeSig e-cigarettes. Kick some ash. <laughs> Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you. Passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now. 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the survival seed vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. The number one secret to having great health and long life is having high levels of glutathione. This master antioxidant is required by your body to stop free radicals, keep cells young, remove chemical and heavy metal toxins, support immunity, support liver functions, stop inflammation, and much more. The results of optimal levels of glutathione in your body are more mental and physical energy, stronger immune system, greater endurance, and more. Do you know the number one secret superfood that helps increase your glutathione levels up to 64% or more? It's unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows. This health food is amazing in its ability to do so much for virtually everyone. Introducing One World Whey, an industry-first, unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988. 988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Let's do this. Let's uh, take some phone calls, and then I'll get back in the news, and then more phone calls. But uh, I want to tie it into the story I was just covering later. Cars could soon monitor our emotions. The vice reads facial expressions to prevent road rage, where the computer sits there bossing you around and is tied back to the police department. And that's out of the Daily Mail, RT, you name it. And again, uh, Toyota, about 15 years ago, had a whole online symposium 
where they said they were going to do this. And then they're going to show that the robot cars are safer, so you're not going to be able to drive. Or if you, you know, have a special high score and pay more insurance, then you can drive. You'll get in your car, and it'll just shuttle you around. I mean, this is just the end of humans being able to do anything. And I go back to different Chinese dynasties. I forget which one it started in. I think like 3,000 years ago. There's been Chinese dynasties for 6,000 years. But around the middle period, I know from memory, I uh, forget the name of the dynasty. The point is, I'm obsessing on the name of that dynasty. They said, you've got to be in the Forbidden City. You've got to stay behind walls. No one can look at you. You're God. It's the fashion. And then we've got to bind your feet so that you can't walk. You're so royal. We have to feed you. We have to bathe you. We have to wipe your hind end like the Queen of England, Grim of the Stool. We have to have a valet that dresses you. And pretty soon, the, the men and the women of the royalty could hardly walk, basically. And they could never live. They were prisoners. And that's all that's happening. We're seen as an ugly human resource that isn't needed. And so they want to reduce our population now. And they're on record about that. I mean, everybody knows that. And they've taught the average person to hate themselves and hate their fellow humans and go, yeah, there are too many people. You know, let's, let's euthanize folks, but, but not you. But we've got to give up all our rights so that, you know, the terrorists don't kill five Americans a year or whatever it is. I mean, that's scary, you know, because we, yeah, we got to have morals and we got to have the morals of letting women kill their babies. That's an important moral. You understand? I know you understand. It's just that it's this total anti-human system that they teach people to love. And I, and I said I'd go to your calls. Let's go to the next segment. This is a short segment. And, and look, it's not like I'm even smart. Th this stuff is out in the open. Just like they're like, yeah, they're giving troops brain chips now that are depressed. It's really helping. Wired Magazine. Hey, they got a vaccine they give the troops after six, seven, eight tours where they're not upset anymore. It's a real good shot, real easy. Of course, they don't tell you a virus goes in and eats part of your brain and you'll never have those high emotions when listening to music or when your firstborn's born or, you know, when you win that business deal or kiss that girl at the door when you say bye to her at night. Because, see, if we're going to take away your bad emotions... Those are all in the very same area of the brain as the good emotions. That's why the best things in my life now I see were the worst things. Leg surgeries and car wrecks and fights and you know, times I was scared and down but came through it. That made me who I am. They don't want you to experience any of that. The animating contest of life. And again, I'll use the analogy of space travel. If I was going to go on a Mars mission, my heart would disintegrate. My bones would turn to rubber. By the time I got there, I'd be an invalid, even if I tried to work out six, seven, eight hours a day. Unless they build a centrifugal force system like 2001 Space Odyssey to create some, some basic Gs. When the crew gets there, it'll take them months to get to where they can pick up a 20-pound box, basically. And that's what the globalists have done to us. They have put us in an artificial, soft, poisonous system to get us eased back into their control so they can create the control grid, wipe us out, and where we won't get upset while we're being killed. We've already been killed. We're already dead. Most people are walking dead. They're not conscious. They're not awake. They're not living. They're just machines that watch television, try to act cool. They're not really conscious. Because if you were conscious, you wouldn't want to act cool. You'd want to act honorable. You'd want to find other honorable people to commune with. You'd want to find other people to share art and love and passion with. And to not be betrayed. And to not be forsaken. And to be loved so there'd be people there to honor you when you're put in the ground. Like your ancestors. And that even though they don't know your name a thousand years from now, they will look back at what you did and we'll have a feeling of honor for you and we'll want to be honorable into the future with whatever unimaginably splendid missions our species is involved in in the future. In the recruitment arm, big guy. <laughs> You're
phone calls are coming up. Stay with us. We are Free Humanity. We're on the mark.